I was perfectly safe and sound, but I was slowly learning to trust my instincts when it comes to mortal peril and when my hairs stand up on my neck. Sometimes I just knew when stuff was about to go south for people I cared about, not that it did a damn thing to help me save Rachel. So it bugged me, really bugged me, that I heard a woman's voice say, or ghosts, right in my ear, and I knew nobody was standing there. No one was in my peripheral vision, and when I turned to look to be absolutely sure, the other people on the platform were just all silently waiting for the squeaking wheels to pull to a stop on our side of the tracks and well beyond my bubble of personal space, a space that the owner of that voice violated. Leave me alone, I hissed quietly. The doors opened on a three-car tram, and we entered the middle door on car number 120. The Light Rail by Joseph McAvoy Available for purchase on Kindle and Amazon Direct.